Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today is a really exciting video. I am doing a not with me on a gigantic slushy wall hanging. Oh my gosh. I've gotten requests to do some more wall hangings and this pattern has been on my to-do list for quite a while but it is the one of probably the biggest pattern that I have done. But I was just in a mood to make a giant bracelet, so that's what we're doing today, and I'm really excited. I thought I was gonna have to film part of this off camera, but I literally filmed the entire thing on camera, sitting down at my desk, making this. I know I'm gonna get people asking me how long this took me. I honestly don't know. I time-lapsed the whole thing, so I was trying to see if like Apple tells you like how much time lapse like speeds up so I can kind of like do some math and figure it out but I found out that when you record a time lapse it will always be within 20 to 40 seconds it doesn't matter how long you recorded there's no real way of knowing exactly how long this bracelet took me however I want to say that each time I sat down and filmed I filmed for about an hour give or take probably give I have 22 clips of this time lapse for this wall hanging. I suppose that translates to 22 hours I spent on this. That honestly seems absurd to me, but I guess it makes sense. I don't know. Regardless, I'm just so glad that it's done. So <laughs> this wall hanging is going to be for sale on my Etsy in case anyone wants to purchase it. I'm gonna get into the reason why it's so expensive at the end of this video. Also, it's this pattern right here. This is number 36881 on bracelet book. I'm gonna link this down below if you guys want to make this too. Good luck, I don't recommend it. <laughs> Let's get into this video <laughs> so guys i decided to do this pattern right here this is going to be insane but i have had this pattern on my to-do list for quite a while and i just really want to make this so i think this is from the simpsons if i'm not mistaken and like the tags on the pattern it said like the simpsons so i think this is from the simpsons i'm honestly not sure i've never seen the show so i still love all the fun colors and it's just so cartoony and like it's just amazing it is 45 strings wide so this will honestly be one of the bigger bracelets i've done but i'm still so insanely excited for this i might actually cut it off a little bit early because there's quite a lot of rows here at the end so i might shave like four rows or so off the bottom of this so i have all my colors picked out so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm using so obviously we have the three main background colors and then these colors of this slushy are like the same colors here so for the blue i'm using this one here this is for the pink and then this is the yellow I'm using this dark magenta for the straw. This green is for the cup. This orange is for the writing on the cup. And then I have white and some black. White for this and this and then black for obviously the outline. And then I'm going to be using my sparkly thread for all the sparkles around. I don't know if the sparkles will actually show up, but I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm using this Elise Forever thread. You can't tell, but it's sparkly. So those are all my colors. I'm gonna go ahead and get this bracelet started. So I will see you guys in the knotting process. So guys, I tried to do the double stitched loop, but it was just not looking very good. So I need to figure out a different way to start this. So I decided to just go with the wooden dowel to do like a wall hanging of this bracelet. But honestly, I really wasn't a fan of the tan wood color, so I decided to actually paint my wooden dowel white. I thought I would just match a little bit better. So once I painted it, I used this jar that I used to hold my makeup brushes in, and I just like shoved the wooden dowel in it so that I would stand upright and it would dry. Okay guys, I've literally been working on this for two hours and I still haven't even like actually made the bracelet yet. For some reason, I don't know, my brain is literally so stupid and I for some reason cut double the strings. So this whole time I've been working with literally 90 strings and I didn't even realize it, I don't even know. My double stitched loop definitely would have worked but I literally had 90 strings and not 45 so I'm not, I just... It's literally fine. So I attached all of my base strings to my wooden dowel. It is a bit smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it's fine, I guess. I did this like striped base string look. I thought it would be really cool. And I tried to do it in the order that like the colors are on the pattern, you know. I got this thing to try to cut this 
So I guess we'll do that. Oh, this is so difficult. It's just so thick. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to sand this or something and fix it because that's not cute. Well, I'm gonna have to fix that later on, but um, there's my wall hanging. So I guess now we can actually start knotting it. <laughs> Okay, well, that was an absolute mess, but finally we are at the part where I am actually making this bracelet. So instead of just giving you guys 10 minutes of silent nodding, which I think some of you would like, but I just don't feel comfortable posting that, I asked you guys to ask me some questions or give me things to talk about um, as we are making this gigantic wall hanging. So I'm going to go ahead and get into some of the questions. If you don't want to hear me, you can definitely just mute the video if you just want to watch the nodding. But if you need something to like distract you, then like listen to my voice. Hee <laughs> hee. So Mackie Wacky, first of all, your name makes me LOL. <laughs> Asked me what my favorite bracelet I've made in 2021 was and all honesty it's this one right here because it's just my child and I just it's so beautiful so this one has to be for surely my fave Jillian Bailey asked me how I manage my time and this is honestly something that I have struggled with for like the past year doing YouTube making products for my Etsy going to work I'm in college I also have a relationship and then I also have other hobbies that I like to do it's just become a lot for me but I don't know this year like the past few months I've just been trying to just take it one day at a time and just not try to overwork myself because in reality when I overwork myself like that I just I'm just not happy when I'm so overworked like that and I'm just starting to realize like everything that I need to do just takes so much time like an excessive amount of time so it's like I shouldn't be beating myself up over you know spending a lot of time on something it's like just take it one day at a time you have all the time in the world like you know it'll be okay so I'm kind of just trying to like chill and like not overwork myself but definitely is a struggle for me for sure and I'm still trying to figure it out a little bit Kayla Smith asked me if I had any tips for growing an Etsy account and I do get questions like this a lot on like I haven't made any sales like do you have any tips this and that but in all honesty I really just don't mostly because when I made my Etsy like I already had a pretty large following and I already had a lot of people who really wanted to purchase my products so I already kind of had that like what's the expression like a lead up in the world or something like that I had like an advantage when I first started out I don't really have any tips for starting out like that but for sure make your titles like very long because those your titles are keywords for when people search up products I see things titled like bracelet and it's like dude you need like more than that so and then also be adding more pictures make sure your photos are good quality make your shipping prices as low as possible as well. I don't know, it's just a process, but you know, it's different for everyone and I feel like I'm not the best person to ask just because I already had an advantage when I first started. Cool Panda Kid asked me if I wanted to dye my hair another color and honestly, the past few months, I've really wanted to dye my hair pink, which is like so random and I feel like it wouldn't really look that good but i just i don't know i kind of want to so let me know what you guys think i would probably go to get it professionally done because i'm gonna be dying my whole head so i f i'd rather go to a salon and have a professional do it for me but i'm sure it'll be kind of expensive so i don't know but yeah that's definitely something that i might do let me look for the summer or something i don't know Clark4 asked me if I would ever do YouTube and sell on Etsy as my full-time job and this has definitely been something that people have brought up to me before. My boyfriend has actually encouraged me to, you know, do this full-time, but in all honesty, I just cannot bring myself to do it full-time. I just feel like it's not a reliable source of income. As much as I love it and there definitely is a lot of money in doing social media, it's just not reliable at all and it's definitely just a hobby for me right now I don't know about the future but at least for right now in the near future this is definitely not gonna be my full-time job IDK either asked me what my favorite uh, classes were in school and in high school I really liked math which is like super weird but I was just always really good at math so I did quite like math and then in college right now, I'd have to say my favorite class that I've taken so far probably would be my criminal justice class, which I'm taking at the moment. It's pretty interesting and I'm really excited to see what else I learn. If you guys want me to do a video about my college experience, I can definitely put my two cents in on that. Just let me know if you guys are wanting me to do a video talking about my experience. 
This next person asked me a question and they're from Asia. So hi to all my Asia fans. Love you guys. Um, you're probably living your best life out there and I'm honestly so jealous. But anyways, I cannot pronounce this person's name. I'm not even going to try because I'm going to butcher it. It's going to be really embarrassing, but I see you. I love you. Thank you. They asked me if I get any neck or back pain from making bracelets and the answer is absolutely. Um, wait, just a second. This part, I filmed this on the side. Let's just not talk about it. Let's just move on from that. Anyways, so when I make bracelets at my desk, like I am throughout this entire video, absolutely it hurts my back so bad. But normally I make my bracelets sitting at my bed where my back is cushioned by my pillows. So in that case, no, I'm fine. But at my desk, whenever I film a video, filming myself making a bracelet, that hurts my back more than anything. So yes. <laughs> Fancy Girl 23 asked me what my future plans were, and so far I am gonna obviously continue doing college, just taking my general ed for the next few years. My boyfriend and I are actually planning on moving out towards the end of summer with my brother, so that will be an experience. I'm honestly kind of excited for it though, but that should be something that I am doing sometime soon if you guys want me to vlog it i don't know if i actually will but if you guys are wanting moving out vlogs or whatever then just let me know and i can for surely do that but yeah so far our future is looking pretty good and i'm pretty excited for it sanjana rajkumar i hope i said that right um asked me if i use the flat alpha technique or how i keep my edges straight i get questions all the time about if i use the flat alpha technique and i guess since this video is on an alpha it seems only fitting to answer this question but i actually do not know what the flat alpha technique even is so i don't think i use it but there yeah <laughs> um and then also i do use the straight edge alpha technique though and basically on the edges you do like a forward back backward or like a backward forward knot like that and it makes your edges super beautiful and straight and I love doing that so yeah I do that but I, I don't know what the, the flat alpha technique is <laughs> Greta LK asked me if there was anywhere that I wanted to travel to and I have been wanting to go to Oregon for like however long so if you guys are in Oregon can you please just tell me how amazing it is because I want to go so bad and i also want to go to like seattle and obviously like india europe asia like europe did i just say europe i don't even know also france because like je parle un peu de français you know what i'm saying the end is near you guys just gotta keep going <laughs> i'm so close i'm i'm like am i like halfway done it better not be halfway done i swear to god it better be more than that okay let's keep going Emma Pittman and many others asked me how I make my bracelets so fast and like I don't know why everybody always says that I make my bracelets very fast because they take me minimum two hours each to make which I don't know if that's like not a lot of time but to me that's like quite a while. I honestly cannot tell you how I make them quickly. I think for sure I'm a lot better about reading patterns and like not messing up on patterns. I think messing up on patterns and having to like undo all your knots takes 900 years so I'm better about that for sure. And I also try to keep my strings as organized as possible and I think that that also definitely helps me go faster but other than that I genuinely don't know. <laughs> Kaya 5 code asked me if I was in a relationship, and yes, ma'am, I am in a relationship with a guy named Zach. He is the best boyfriend ever. We've been together for about eight months now, so it's been a while, and we actually are wanting to start an Etsy shop together, so that's going to be really cool. Hopefully, you guys are excited about that because I sure as hell am. Anyways, you guys, I am so close to being done. I only have a little bit more to do i'm about right here so i only have a little bit more to do i am gonna sit here i'm not gonna leave this spot until i finish this thing right now here we go i don't know about you guys but does anyone else like watch tv or netflix or youtube while they're working on bracelets and like literally when you look at that bracelet once it's finished you like remember exactly what you were watching because same i was watching iCarly at the very end of this bracelet so I don't know, I just remember that. So Netflix just added iCarly. So let me know what episode you guys are on because I know everybody's watching that right now. So 
But yeah, this is the final stretch for the bracelet. We're almost done. This is insane. I cannot believe that this entire 20 hour project fit into 10 minutes of a video. It kind of sucks, but that's okay. It actually took way longer. But anyways, it's all done now. Yay! Guys, this is not a drill. Oh my god. It's done. It's literally done. This is insane. <laughs> so I went ahead and finished it off. I showed how to do this end in my like video on like how to make alpha patterns on keychains. This looks incredible. I'm so happy with this. Um, here's the back. Oh my god, it's so ugly. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and fix this right here. I'm also gonna repaint my wooden dowel because the tape kind of stripped some of the paint off while I was making it. So I found this um, downstairs. So um, All right, well that looks better than what it was. I'm also gonna repaint it, so I'm gonna get my paint if I can open the cap. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's not gonna happen, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use this thing. Let's just not discuss that I could not open that. Um, I'm gonna be very careful not to get paint on the threads or else you will probably see me cry. Cute, looks good as new. Oh my God, this is insane. <laughs> I'm gonna let this dry and I will be right back. I don't want it to like touch anything though. I'm gonna put it on my lamp. There we go. That's cute. I'm smart. <laughs> okay guys, so my paint has dried. So now it's just time to add my hanging part to this. I wanna use this thread, but I feel like it's too thin. Eh, I think it's fine. You know what? I feel like, okay listen to me right now i feel like this string is too thin and i also feel like this tapestry is just too beautiful to have just a janky string so what i am going to do is i'm going to cut four of these strings and i'm going to tie these around this wooden dowel here and then i'm actually going to fishtail braid these strings so that the wall hanging part is more secure okay guys so i just went ahead and tied my strings to the wooden dowel and then i did a fishtail braid with all the strings and then i tied the other end for this side i was able to just put the raw edges on the back of it but i didn't do that for this one so i tried to use some clear nail polish to stick it down but it's not really sticking down but i'm hoping that it might dry like that and be stuck so that there's no loose threads but yeah so it is all done i am so happy with how this turned out here it is hanging on my desk right there oh my god it looks incredible <laughs> so guys that was everything it was a process so this is our final product it literally looks so good i'm so happy with it i feel like my edges girl they look they're pretty straight okay like you cannot lie to me right now the accomplishment i like low-key don't want to sell it because this took me forever but like what am i gonna do with this i'm not gonna do anything with this like i'm not even gonna do anything at all with this so i'm gonna sell it <laughs> This is going to be $125 on my Etsy. And before I get people being like, that's so expensive. Y'all literally just saw me hand make this entire thing. Literally, this entire thing. I knotted every single little knot in this with my bare hands. This took me over 20 hours to make. Which is literally, I'm making $6 an hour off of this thing. Which is like less than half of what I actually make at my real job. But for anyone comes for me, 125 is a low, girl. I'm just, I'm tired of people criticizing small businesses' prices. I'm just, before anybody is just like, why is this so expensive? It's not even, like, I can literally do it myself. Bitch, then you do it. You spent 24 hours making it. Anyways, <laughs> this is going to be on my Etsy for sale if anybody wants to purchase this. So yeah, that was my Not With Me video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all very dearly. Thank you for watching this whole video of me just making this. I love you guys and I will see you guys all in my next video. Goodbye.